on June 26, 2020, at 12 a.m. GMT, a Cold Space Rescue Challenge map was issued to ICO participants from around the world. All participants were given 24 hours to develop AI strategies to solve the same challenge. In Cold Space Rescue Challenge, teams are required to build a real robot, develop and program appropriate algorithms, and strategies for both real and virtual autonomous robots to navigate through both real and virtual worlds. Additionally, they have to search and collect objects while competing with another team's robot that is also searching and collecting objects in the same real and virtual worlds. During the challenge, the robot needs to overcome barriers, avoid traps, and swamps. If the robot successfully makes a deposit, the points of the objects deposited will be doubled. The virtual field has been divided into a 3 by 3 matrix. When the robot moves into each section, the robot's corresponding location information will be assigned to the robot. Location information can be used for the development of AI algorithms and strategies, such as path planning and search algorithms. The winner of the challenge will be the robot with the highest points. Hello everyone, I am Taishi Shimada. I'm from Japan. I'm involved in Alcap Cosmos Rescue Challenge Plus Steps under 19. I've been involved in robotics for 10 months. I use AI to program Cosmos robot. My strategy is move randomly to such objects. I started Cosmos robots six months ago. In the beginning, I was not good at programming Cosmos robot, but I became able to take high points because se senior did gently me. I'm not good at programming Cosmos robot, but I'm better than six months ago at programming Cosmos robots today. Thank you for listening. I am Samuel from Singapore and I signed up for the Rescue First Steps U19 Challenge. This is the second year I am involved in robotics. For this challenge, I had to program the robot to pick up gems and to deposit them in the orange deposit zones. The robot collects gems by stopping whenever one sensor detects a gem, and deposits when the robot stops such that both sensors are in the deposit zone. To be able to collect and deposit as many gems as possible, the robot has to also avoid the walls and traps efficiently. For wall avoidance, the robot turns whenever either of the three ultrasound sensors reaches below a certain threshold. To avoid running into traps, the robot runs at a reduced speed once it has collected some gems. Whenever one sensor detects a trap, the robot turns away from the trap. The robot is driven by controlling the speed of its left and right wheel. For forward motion, both wheels turn in the same direction at a specified speed. For turning, one wheel turns more than the other. The difference in the speed between both wheels determines how sharp the turn is. Movement-wise, the robot was programmed to visit the blue special zone more frequently than the normal white zones. The collection of RRGG BB sets were prioritized. In this competition, I learned how to set proper sensor thresholds by moving the robot in a simulator and reading off the sensor values that identify zones and gems. This is similar to how one would calibrate sensor readings in real life. I learned how to write if-else statements, which was the backbone of my program's logic. Also, I learned how to direct my robot by applying a proportional controller to steer the robot. The rotation speed of the robot is proportional to the difference between the target angle and the compass bearing. Although there is still much that I don't know, I believe what I learned during this virtual competition is relevant to robotics in real life. I would like to thank my coach and peers for exposing me to efficient strategies and movements that I would not have discovered alone.
and off we go. In this demo game, we will minimize any manual intervention. Red Robot is searching in the blue special area. Any objects picked up in this area will double in value. Blue Robot is depositing. Red Robot is full. Red Robot is depositing. Blue Robot is depositing. Red Robot is full. Red Robot is depositing. Blue Robot is full. Blue Robot is depositing. Blue Robot is depositing. Blue Robot is depositing. Blue Robot is depositing. Red Robot is full. Blue Robot is depositing. Red Robot is depositing. One minute left. Blue Robot is full. Blue Robot is depositing. Red Robot is full. Red Robot is depositing. Blue Robot is depositing. 
Red Robot wins this challenge. Congratulations. 